Welcome to the new and refreshed Morning Coffee, where two dynamic hosts bring a fresh perspective to the conversations you love, all over a cup of coffee. Whether you're a longtime listener or just tuning in, get ready for a daily dose of humor, warmth, and fresh energy. All right, so are you ready to dive into some juicy rumors with me today? Always up for a good tech mystery, especially when it involves Nintendo. Because let's be real, nobody does hype and secrecy quite like Nintendo, right? It's true, they really know how to keep us on the edge of our seats. And right now, all eyes are on the rumored Nintendo Switch 2. We've been scouring the internet, digging through leaks, and analyzing every whisper and speculation, so you don't have to. We're talking Leaked images, potential specs, release dates, the whole nine yards. Exactly. But let's get to the chase. What everyone really wants to know is, when can we actually get our hands on this thing? Well, initially, the rumor mill was buzzing about a 2024 release. Right, which makes sense. But lately, there's been a bit of a shift. Oh, how so? We're starting to see whispers of potential delays pushing the launch window to early 2025. Early 2025, you're kidding, that's a long way off. I know, I know. And to add another layer, some analysts are predicting a September 2024 announcement, but with a March 2025 release. So basically get everyone hyped up with an announcement and then make them wait even longer to actually buy it. Sounds about right for Nintendo, but seriously, why the delay? Is it just those pesky supply chain issues everyone's dealing with, or is there something more to it? You know, it, it's probably a combination of factors, but what's really interesting is that this rumored delay might be strategic on Nintendo's part. Mm -hmm. They might be using this extra time to really nail down their launch lineup. Okay, so you're thinking they want to avoid another Wii U situation? Precisely. Remember how that went down? Let's not remind anybody. Right. But the point is, Nintendo learned a valuable lesson about the importance of a strong launch lineup. Games sell consoles, and it seems like they're taking the time to make sure the Switch 2 hits the ground running. Makes sense. A killer launch lineup could make all the difference, especially with all the juicy rumors swirling around about the Switch 2's specs. Oh, absolutely. We're talking a potential 8-inch screen, redesigned Joy-Cons, even whispers of 4K capabilities when docked. This thing sounds like a beast, but you know what really caught my eye? Those leaked images that surfaced online. You mean the ones that made the rounds on Chinese social media first and then boom, all over Reddit? Exactly. Are those actually legit? I mean, can we believe what we're seeing? It's tough to say for sure with leaks, right? Okay. But, and this is where it gets really interesting. The details in those images, like the magnetic Joy-Cons in that larger screen, yeah. they line up with some of the rumors we've been hearing for a while now. Wait, really? Yeah, and even some of Nintendo's own patent filings. Remember that patent for a new Joy-Con attachment mechanism? Hold on, are you saying those leaked images might actually be credible? It's too early to say for sure, but the pieces of the puzzle do seem to be fitting together. It definitely adds a whole other layer of intrigue, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Okay, so we've got potential delays, leaked images that might actually be the real deal, and whispers of a launch lineup so good it could single-handedly save the gaming industry. Okay, that might be a slight exaggeration. Just a bit. But there's one giant elephant-sized question we haven't even touched yet. And that's that. Backward compatibility. Will our current Switch games work on the new system? Because honestly, for a lot of gamers out there, that's make or break. You're absolutely right. And unfortunately, that's the one thing Nintendo has been completely silent on. Typical. It's like they enjoy toying with us, you know? A little Fair bit, maybe. maybe. But let's imagine for a second. Just picture your favorite Switch game but remastered with the rumored Switch 2 specs. Okay, now you're just being cruel. Don't get my hopes up like that. I know, I know, but think about it. The possibilities are mind-blowing. Nintendo knows they have a dedicated fan base who would love nothing more than to revisit those beloved worlds with enhanced graphics, smoother performance. You're killing me. But you're right, the potential is huge. The question is, will Nintendo actually capitalize on it? That's the billion dollar question, isn't it? Okay, so for now, backward compatibility remains a mystery. But let's shift gears a bit and delve into those rumored specs a little further, shall we? Let's do it. One of the biggest things we keep hearing is a significant RAM upgrade, potentially up to 12 GB. That's a huge jump from the current Switch's 4 GB. Right. But for our listeners who might not be as familiar with all the technical jargon, can you break down what that actually means for their gameplay? What difference will that make? Sure. So basically, RAM is like your console's short-term memory. 
The more RAM it has, the more information it can process quickly and efficiently. So more RAM equals better performance. Exactly. So we're talking faster loading time, smoother gameplay, that kind of thing. Exactly. But it's bigger than that. This puts the Switch 2 potentially on par with consoles like the Xbox Series S in terms of raw RAM. This suggests Nintendo might be aiming for more graphically demanding games. Think open worlds with incredible draw distances, more detailed textures, and just a smoother overall experience. So no more frame rate drops when things get a little too chaotic on screen. Well, that's the hope. Of course, optimization plays a huge role too, but this RAM upgrade suggests Nintendo is serious about stepping up its game. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's not just about the RAM either. Those leaks also hinted at a pretty big storage upgrade, something like 256 gigabytes. Okay, now that is music to my ears. No more agonizing over which games to delete just to download a new one. But seriously, what does that kind of storage capacity tell us? I mean, about the direction Nintendo's going with the Switch 2. It tells us a lot. Literally, think about it, right? Yeah. That much storage, it kind of lines up perfectly with all the other rumors we're hearing about these massive game worlds, detailed environments, just bigger, more demanding games. It's like they're finally ready to just go toe to toe with the other big consoles in terms of like pure tech. Yeah. Which, let's be real, the Switch has kind of always lagged behind a little in terms of raw power, but like, if these leaks are true, it seems like they're done messing around. They're ready to step up. Exactly. And you know what that means, right? Could attract a whole new wave of developers, get some bigger games on the platform. All right, so we've covered the rumors, potential delays, leaked picks, the whole backward compatibility question, talked about RAM, storage. I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. The big one. The one everyone's wondering about. All right, you're talking 4K, right? Hit the nail on the head. Can the Switch 2 finally handle 4K resolution or what? Well, based on the rumors, things are looking pretty good on that front. Oh, really? Yeah. Rumor has it that while handheld mode might top out at 1080p, docking the Switch 2 could actually unlock 4K gaming. Finally. No more blurry textures for Nintendo fans. Though I gotta ask, with all this talk about 4K and these crazy good specs, there's still that one persistent rumor that just won't die. Let me guess. The LCD screen. Are they really going to stick with an LCD to keep costs down? Even with all these amazing specs? That is the million dollar question, isn't it? It's all a balancing act. Yeah. On the one hand, they're clearly aiming for a huge performance boost with this Switch 2, but Nintendo's also known for, you know, keeping things affordable. They want everyone to be able to play their games. Especially these days. Like, let's be real, not everyone can drop a grand on the latest and greatest console. Exactly. So are they going to go all out, full OLED, top of the line tech? Mm -hmm. Or are they going to play it safe, keep it budget friendly? Or maybe, and hear me out on this. Go on. Maybe they find a way to blow us all away and do both. Now that, that would be a true Nintendo power move. Right. Though for now, I guess we just wait and see. The mystery of the screen continues. <laughs> I guess so. It's like they enjoy keeping us in suspense. It's all part of the fun, right? The <laughs> speculation, the rumors, trying to piece everything together. True, true. Although we've been speculating a lot ourselves, haven't we? Well, that's what we're here for. That's true. We've covered a lot of ground, potential delays, those leaked images, backward compatibility, the whole shebang. But I feel like we need to circle back to what really matters most. What's that? The games. Ah, uh, you're right. Because at the end of the day, a console is only as good as the games you can play on it. Couldn't agree more. And you hinted earlier that Nintendo might be using this rumored delay to really perfect that launch lineup. I did say that, yes. So, in your opinion, what kind of games did they need to deliver to make this launch the spectacle we all want it to be? Well, first and foremost, they need to play to their strengths, yeah. right? Mario, Zelda, Metroid, new entries in those franchises. Those are guaranteed system sellers. That's what gets people to like line up on day one. No argument here. A new 3D Mario that really pushes the hardware or Breath of the Wild 2, I'd be first in line. Exactly. But, and this is crucial, I think they also need to innovate. You know, oh, yeah. bring in some new ideas, fresh IPs that take advantage of all the Switch 2's rumored power. Like a brand new Splatoon. Nobody knew we needed Splatoon until it was here? Exactly. They've got to recapture that magic, that thing that makes Nintendo Nintendo. Totally. That Nintendo difference. It's about balancing the familiar with the new. Give the fans what they know and love, but also, you know, blow us away with something we never even imagined. Plus, with the tech we're hearing about, those specs. Just imagine the possibilities. Oh, yeah. New indie darlings, bigger third-party titles. 
the potential is huge. This is an exciting time to be a Nintendo fan, that's for sure. Wow. Even with all the mystery. For sure. So as we wrap up here, what's the takeaway for our listeners, those gamers out there eagerly awaiting any news about the Switch 2? I think it's safe to say that Nintendo's up to something big. Okay. They might be playing their cards close to their chest, but all signs point to a company ready to shake things up. A console that's both powerful and affordable. A launch lineup packed with must-have titles. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Cool. Right, we still have to wait and see. But until then, the hype is real. That's all the time we have for today's deep dive. A huge thank you to you for lending your expertise to this. Happy to be here. Always a pleasure to dissect some Nintendo rumors. And to everyone listening, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to let us know what feature or game you absolutely need to see on the Switch 2. Until next time. <laughs>